Okay guys, thought I'd try one of these retracks that uh, last good one that I had from the original set uh, actually doesn't have the micro switch on it I actually removed it here but anyway this is the receiver that I was using Futaba Fast from Hobby King the Corona RF8 that I've been using in all my airplanes and actually was using these once before <coughs> that actually worked pretty well before I had one over center and collapse. Here I have this servo on a JR 4.8 volt battery instead of 6 volts into the retract channel 5. No problem whatsoever. Okay, I don't have that the retract, but I've actually opened it up before I plug it in to see what happens here and I've taken the trunnion off of it so it's just the motor against the PCB okay let's disconnect the servo there now then and this is on standard analog it's not on high speed mode and let's plug in the retract and see what happens here again this is one of the version 2 that had the micro switch attached to it right here and I very carefully surgically removed it and checked it. This board seems to be a lot cleaner as I checked it under a magnifying ball. Uh, it doesn't have as many solder splashes as the one I posted yesterday that burned up. Uh, when I inspected them at work, they were just it was just loaded with solder splashes all over the SMT components and so forth. So that may have been the reason for the burnout, but it happened on both of them. So here we go. If this thing smoke checks, we should actually see the PCB board inside. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. It seems to be the same components. A little too far. And I'll plug this, re this retract into channel 5. One. Make sure the orientation's right here. One, two, three, four, five okay it's in it's live it looks like we don't have any smoke so this may be a good one now I'm actually gonna actuate it here let's see what happens I felt the motor jerk a little bit Okay, this retract is working. Like I said, this is one of the ones that I ordered from RC Castle the other night. Uh, as the other pair, I got two pair in. The pair that FMS sent me burned up. Um, you can see this was one that, this is one of the ones you order from RC Castle. Still has that micro switch in it. I took it off. Seems to be all right. Seems to be the same components burning up and I won't touch these we take unplug this just so it's got no power on it but and we'll pull this little board out of here let me back out just a little bit these are the same components right here that are burning up these little voltage regulators right there tip my screwdriver out of the four you out of the I've got six of these now Okay, the two burned up yesterday, and then I've got one of the original stock ones that's burned up. And it's the same components in every place. Inspecting this solder, this, this PCB board right here, uh, the quality control needs to be improved. There are solder splashes all over that are shorting out some of these components, especially this Zener diode right here, which controls direction. Had has shorting components, and if it gets shorts out, it feeds current back into these guys which will actually may be part of our burnout problem. These are actually pretty good retracts. I really like this transmission idea they have here, which will provide a lot of high torque for picking up heavy gear, which is what I think they were intending here. And they've got they're on the right track and I support them on that, but their electronics here we need to work on. Okay? So we're here to help them and let's get this problem resolved here. I've got a good one that's working and I wanted to go ahead and actuate this one taken apart. I do this kind of thing for a living, so uh, electronics and inspecting stuff. But this one's a lot cleaner, even though it's still under a, under a power microscope. 
you can still find poor solder joints in here and some solder splashes okay both the two new ones I got there I've sent FMS pictures uh, actually zoomed in close-up pictures of the burnt components I just posted that those pictures up on RC groups and you can see the same components the other burnt retracts that I've got it's the exact same components that are popped right there and right there and that's where this that's when you see smoke you'll see these two components right here they get hot and burned and uh, smoke a few times and it sh then it of course then it breaks the circuit in the PCB board and your retracts dead you actually had a retract unit you could actually just take it out if they could send this as a as just a replacement piece right here and of course I'm really good at soldering most uh, advantage some are and some aren't and I can solder it on back on the uh, back on the motor myself here then those retracts I got would actually be probably up and working and alright just replace the PCB and put it back on here I don't see any reason for the micro switch except that it was a safety because what it does is it breaks the it breaks the circuit off of that IC chip right there that's what that's what it is they've got it soldered to that point and that point and I just basically snipped mine off with a pair of very fine uh, wire snips since I have some of those micro tools I didn't want it on there in case it's because my last one shorted out because if those wires get bared which they did because they were they were actually chafing right here even though this is not metal they shorted each other out which caused the short inside the circuit and took out the rest of it but anyway that one's working now let's try and put the trunnion in back in this and see if it loads down because we had this thought come up today I saw it I'll zoom back out here and see if maybe the load here even though these are pretty good we saw it work without it orientation again one two three four five everything seems to be holding all right let's trip it again it looks like it's holding up pretty good came off of it that time okay that seems to be working there that one's okay maybe just got a bad set hopefully hopefully this helps and helps FMS too I'm gonna to post this up on YouTube and send a copy to them and maybe this will help them in their analyzing on uh, correcting their issues I know they're feverishly trying to correct this issue nobody's here to badger them if anything we're all here to support them and try and help them with the problem here by identifying these and posting our user videos and I hope you guys can help them as well FMS this one's for you let's see if we can get the problem fixed so that we can have a nice airplane your Mustang is a super airplane I love it to pieces we just have an electronic issue with these retracks with the uh, being able to support the weight of the airplane and keep them from burning up once we get that you got a winner if I can help in any way you've got my address contact me